All the President's Men, you can't make a film in Washington, D.C. about journalism without feeling very nervous about the influence of All the President's Men. It's such a great movie, one of my favorite ten movies. I think it's a, it's a great, great piece of filmmaking. Um, and uh, so we have, in the movie, we have all sorts of references to the film. We have, you can probably only see this on a very big screen, but at Russell's desk, there's a picture of uh, Woodward and Bernstein in their heyday, it's there. Um, clearly, the, the the car that he drives, the Saab, is the same car, later model on the one that Redford drives. The uh, um, underground garage scene seemed to me this is a place to put a little action scene in an underground garage because, in the in the, obviously that's the, the iconic place in all the president's men is the meeting of Deep Throat in in the underground garage. So I thought. It's a kind of uh, a nightmare version of all the president's men to put a, somebody being hunted by a killer in an underground car park. Um, but I think more generally, all the president's men influenced us because I wanted to show how journalism has changed by showing um, a different environment for the journalists to be in. So if you look at the set for all the president's men, it's a very colorful. Uh, very deep focus, very bright and white and optimistic feeling. And it suggests um, that journalists are heroic, it just that journalists are super rational, and that with their light they're going to seek out the darkness in the world and destroy it. Um, I deliberately decided I'm going to go, okay, what happens if that newspaper office has not been touched for 35 years and the paper has just piled up and nobody has cleaned? That's what my set's going to be. So I took it's the same 70s architecture, it's a different space, but the same 70s style, same use of color, but everything is muddy, mucky, dusty, piles of paper. You get the feeling of an institution in crisis, and the journalists are dressed scruffily, you know, they got beards. The, um, and uh, so that was the biggest influence of all the president's men. C'est le scandale politique du siècle. 